once again, we grieve for the little boys and girls whose lives have been ended and whose families have been destroyed while our, our leaders on the right, the Americans at the Congress and at Fox News and these other outlets warn us not to politicize this. They immediately criticize our president for even speaking about doing something to stop it because they don't want to speak about it because they know what they've done and they know what they haven't done and they know that it's indefensible. So they'd rather sweep this under the rug. You know, most Americans support keeping guns out of the hands of criminals and children. The majority of us do, Democrats and Republicans. And the reason they call them common sense gun laws is because that's what they are, common sense. 89% of Americans want background checks before a gun can be purchased, which is the, just the very least we can do. A bipartisan bill passed in the House. It's been stalled in the Senate for over a year now. They won't pass it because our cowardly leaders just aren't listening to us. They're listening to the NRA. They're listening to those people who write them checks, who keep them in power, because that's the way politics work. That's the idea we settle on. So we tell ourselves, but it doesn't have to be that way. Not for this. You know, if your solution to children being massacred is armed guards, you haven't been paying attention to what's going on. Uh, there was an armed guard in Buffalo. There was an armed guard in Parkland. There was an armed guard in Uvalde. They had armed guards. There were police officers armed on the scene. And these murders still happen. And gun control laws do work, by the way. We know this. 26 years ago, Scotland had a school shooting that killed 16 kids and a teacher, and the government responded by enacting gun control legislation. And there hasn't been a school shooting in Scotland since then. In 1996 in Australia, a mass shooting killed 35 people. They passed gun legislation. They haven't had one since. This is the only country where this keeps happening. Firearms are now the number one cause of death for American children and teens. Number one. This is not a time for moments of silence. This is a time to be loud and to stay loud and not stop until we fix this. There have been 27 school shootings so far this year in this country, and it's May. How does this make sense to anyone? These are our children, and our representatives are supposed to represent us. This is not their fault anymore. This is now our fault, because we get angry, we demand action, we don't get it, they wait it out, we go back to the lives that we should rightfully be able to go back to. But you know who doesn't forget it? The parents of the children at Sandy Hook and Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and now Robb Elementary School, they won't forget it.